It's a day game Tuesday afternoon. Hi, everybody. 2K Sports, Gary Thorne, John Cruck, and Steve Phillips. A bat that means business. Shin Su Chu. He'll try and get it running today. Progressive Field, the home of the Indians. That's the site for our ball game. Here's a look at Cleveland's starter. Steve, what's he going to use? What's up in his mind today against this Seattle lineup? A uh, quality right-hander on the mound against this lineup. He should be able to, to get the outs he needs to come away with a victory, especially if his offense gives him some run support. Now let's have a look at the lineup for the Mariners. In our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, whether he's behind the plate or not, Jesus Montero is a guy that you have to find a place in the lineup. Such a powerful man from the trunk down. He generates power from those legs, and he's going to be a force in the middle of the lineup. And so Dustin Ackley leading it off. Here's the pitch. Just missed with the fastball. 1 0. His career average, and even 300 against the Indians. A 1 0 pitch. That one swung on a miss by Dustin Ackley, and that strike will even it up. Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. Here's the 1-1. One, 1-1 one. Right one, one pitch, a fastball, cut on, missed, 1-2. and two. Well, Gary, he's got such an effective fastball. He likes to use it. You know, 1-2 one, count. He doesn't like to mess around. Look for him to go right at him with the heater. One two pitch coming. You're and that one swung on and missed by Dustin Ackley. Well, Gary, that's an outstanding slider. That great late action with two strikes. Not much you can do with that one. Tough one to hit. Now we'll take a quick look at the Indians, how they line up on the field. And uh, John, any scouting picks? Well, there's a great athlete out there in the field with Brady Sizemore grabbing his glove. He's always going to give you 100%. He has that football mentality when it comes to playing the outfield. He'll crash into walls. He'll dive for balls. He'll do whatever he can to help his team win. That's what caused him some of these injuries, but that's what causes him to be a fan favorite. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0 and 1. Franklin Gutierrez had such a great season when he first came to Seattle, but since then he's regressed and last year continued to slide in his production. Not a good long term outlook for him. Here's the delivery. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes, Franklin Gutierrez will need to be careful. And we're talking about Gutierrez's numbers. When you rely on speed, the adage in baseball, you can't use it unless you get on. He couldn't get on, John. Yeah, not only couldn't he get on, he ended up on the 60-day DL with an oblique strain. And for him, he just try, got to try to forget about the 2011 season, concentrate on 2012, and what got him to the big leagues and what should keep him in the big leagues. Swing and a miss. Slider, two down. Okay, camp shows 83 miles per hour and a very straight pitch. Well, two strikes, you have to try to fight off this pitch. You have to think away and adjust in. They went away, but he couldn't make contact. Seeger's in the batter's box. Here's the pitch. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. The pitch doesn't get the call on the slider. One on one. He tried to backdoor that pitch, but left it out and away. Two Good looking one. fastball. Called the ball though. Two and one.
Here's the 2 1 pitch. Line drive. That's foul oh. towards first. Hit on the ground, up the middle. Kipnis the grab. Oh. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. No hits, nobody left on, and a good defensive half inning. First look at the Cleveland Bats coming right up. Out on the mile, we'll see Blake Beaven. He'll be starting this one off for Seattle. Steve will be watching how he approaches this Cleveland lineup. Well, not one of the better right-handers on the mound right here against a lineup that can put some runs up on the board. Swung out and put in play. That one towards Saunders. One away. Now we'll take a look at the Indians offense. So who are you looking at, John? Well, he doesn't have the same speed he once did when he first came up. I mean, Grady Sizemore was a guy that everyone thought 30-30. He still has the power, especially for a guy who plays center field. But the speed's not there anymore, but he's still a very important part of the lineup. Got a chance to check out the Mariners and how they line up defensively. Highlights, John, from these fielders? Well, there are so many things that Franklin Gutierrez is great at. One of the more underrated defensive players in the game. He runs balls down. He's very aggressive. He, he's not afraid to die for balls. What I like about him, though, when you watch how balls are hit to his corners when he's playing center field, he is always there, ready to back up, and he doesn't play nonchalant outfield. Very aggressive and hustles all the time. Plays off that one outside, 1-0. Well, one area that the Indians were strong last year, defending the home turf at Progressive Field, 44-37 in 2011. He has to back up for it, comes away with the out. You know, one of the quirks in the Indians' home record, uh, Steve, you were talking about, they actually were outscored at home by a pretty healthy margin. Well, that means they won the close games. The bullpen was good. They did the little things to win at Progressive Field, but they look like they're on the wrong side of a few blowouts. And Cabrera settles in. Over his career, going 291 off the Mariners. Here's the pitch. Cabrera will foul that one away. Ball one. Good patience as has Drobel. Cabrera lets that one go by for a ball, evening the count. Well, you saw the catcher right there setting up inside, and the pitcher just missed off the plate. Still a pretty good pitch, though. And the side's retired. Gutierrez the catch. Off the field he goes. It's Jesus Montero to lead it off. Strike Slider one. swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. It's fouled away. Oh. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. This one to Sizemore. And he gets over to take care of it. This ball was headed to the gap, but the left fielder got a good jump on it, able to run it down and make the play. Jason will be at the plate. Well, against the AL Central in 2011, Seattle four games under 500. Not too bad considering how much they struggled against everybody else. Took something off, and it swung on and missed, 0-1. As for that discussion, the Mariners and the American League Central, second half when things were really going poorly for them, yet they played their best, John, against... Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. Two men have been put away. And we've got smoke coming to the plate. Lifetime, 6-24 for 24 against the Indians. And it goes foul. And here's the delivery. Mm -mm. Helped him out there. 0 and 2. This is the toughest pitch to hit in baseball. That backdoor slider it starts off the plate. And you think it's a ball all the way. And at the last second, it breaks over the outside. By the time you realize it, you can't put a good swing on it. And you usually miss it. So uh, he ended that half inning with a strikeout. 
Alonso out of the inning. And Santana's in the box. He's going to start the second for the home team. It's hit foul by Santana. The pitch. Swings hits this one pretty well. Deep right center. Gutierrez. Roms over. Puts it away. Well, this is why you swing the outfielders around to right field. That's where his strength is. That's where he hits it. That's where he did hit it. It's an out. It's going to be Hafner now. How's he doing? Well, lifetime. 3.07 off Seattle. Strike he swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, if you've done your homework, you know how you're going to attack this guy. you got to go with the slider here. Pitch on the way. Smash towards the middle. And that one's down. That's the team's first hit. It's nice to get that runner on base with one out. Good piece of hit in that single. Now they got something to work with. And with a runner on, Grady Sizemore hitting. But well, there was a moment last year when it looked like Grady Sizemore was back to being Grady Sizemore. Came out of the gate hot after he had the pop and speed he's known for. Swing and a high drive. This could be trouble. Goodbye, home run Indians. Oh, did he suck that one? Indians are on the scoreboard. And so they jump out to the 2-0 lead. Wow, what a great time for a two-run shot like that. That's the right offensive approach for Cleveland. Getting pitches they can hit and capitalizing on it. And now they're going to see if they can't keep adding to it. And the home run there, Steve. The pitching is going to have to be very careful now. Well, that's right. Damage control is critical. You don't want this inning to get out of control. And there's another one. Couple of quick hits. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. And a runner on, Casey Kochman batting. Lifetime, he's a 327 hitter off the Mariners. Ball and one. the pitch out, nothing doing that time. Here's the 1 0. Hit on the ground towards second. And it's plucked off the field. That's one out. And there's two, a double play. They love to be able to put early pressure on picking up some runs here in the second. Cleveland is ahead, two to nothing. Progressive field, a tremendously nice spring of weather here. Perfect for baseball. It's going to be Saunders. Ball. Change up just misses. 1-0. Oh. Well, he tried to change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. one oh on the way. This one swung on, hit down the line and right. And it's going to be Chu. He comes in a little, gets the up. Look, Gary, he's pitching well right now. I mean, that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. Tam's at the plate. Swung on, hit softly towards the hole. Two away. It's Ryan at the plate. And 
and it's fouled away. And Santana sets up his target. 0-1 pitch, a fastball, swung on and missed, 0-2. Uh, he just reared back and said, here it comes, big boy, here comes my best fastball. He busted him inside with it. He fouls that one off. Here's the delivery. A line drive towards the hole. And there's Dizen Hall for the third out. It's the kind of inning the defense likes three up, three down. It's still a shutout here in Cleveland. And it's Lonnie Chisholm Hall now to lead it off. Strike Paints one. the lower outside corner. Call strike one. Chisenhall will let that one go by to even up the count. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out there. Two seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Ackley will scoop it up. That's one away. But Gary, this guy makes it look easy and he retires another one at first. So with one down, here's Chu. Last time up, flew up. First pitch to him. That ball is swung on and hit. Gutierrez is ready to field. Play is made. Good read off of the bat. A quick jump has to come in on it a little bit. It has enough time to put it away. So a chance here for Jason Kepnes with two down. On the way. Here's a swing, a fly ball deep down the line and right. And Thames is there. And he's there to retire the side. And they're unable to make any noise here in this half inning. And the Mariners coming up next. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. Ackley's in the batter's box. He'll start things off here, inning number four. The first pitch. Ball. Slider just misses 1-0. Oh. Look here, they haven't scored or gotten a hit, and we're in the fourth inning right now. They've got to really reconsider their approach at the plate as we move through the lineup the second time around. The 1-0 pitch. Strike one. And he takes a strike on that fastball. 1-1. One, one. There's a ground ball fielded by Cabrera. So Ackley is set down. Shortstop makes a nice play right here, Gary. Good feet at that position. Gets the easy out at first. Gutierrez at the plate. Steve, let's take a look and see how the pitcher's done today. You know, when he's throwing the ball down on his own like this, these lefty hitters have to stay behind the ball to drive it. They just don't seem able to do that. They keep swinging and hitting the top part of the ball. Here's the pitch. The 0-0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. Batting 274, lifetime against the Indians. Here it comes. Line drive left of the bag and foul. Wanted to get him fishing, but he misses one and two. 
Well, you can see what he's doing. He's just pulling that ball away from him, trying to overthrow it, and he can't seem to find the strike zone. He has to be able to rein that thing in right now. The one-two on its way. And this is bounced foul to the left side. And Franklin Gutierrez strikes out. Couldn't make contact on that one. Now he helped him right there with two strikes. He gets the slider, but he chases it out of the zone for strike three. Seeger's in the batter's box. See if he's getting balls or strikes here. Let's take a look. You want your pitchers to be aggressive and go at the hitters and work ahead in the count. First pitch strikes the way to do it. Well, in this game, he's retired eight hitters after he's gone to an 0-1 count. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. Oh! Swung on and fouled away. Here's the pitch. Strike and two. he takes a called strike on the outer half. Nothing in two. Uh, great stuff from the pitcher. Now he's ahead 0-2. He can go in so many different directions. Ground ball towards the second baseman. Kipnis the ground. Throws to first side is retired. Perfect through four, and he is dealing. Well, he's done everything you want out of a starting pitcher. He set the tone early and keeps it going now. Indians still protecting an advantage. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Clark. And Cabrera settles in. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. The pitch, ground ball. Ackley will scoop it up. So Cabrera is set down. And Santana's in the box. 0 for 1 thus far. Now the first pitch. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses with that fastball. Well, Carlos Santana splitting time between first base and catcher last season, and you have to wonder if the bat comes around like everyone thinks he can, if he will be a permanent fixture at first to save the wear and tear from behind the plate. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. And Gutierrez gets to it. But Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here, and that's six in a row that he set down. And it's Travis Hafner now. Single and scored his last time around. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled off. Good eye as Travis Hafner watches that one count even. Uh, Gary, the numbers seem to indicate he likes to go fastball on a 1-1 count trying to get back ahead again. Strike Called strike over the heart of the plate, one and two. Now, change up is one thing, but if you leave it over the heart of the plate, you're going to get hurt. The 1-2 pitch. You're out. And Hafner swings right through that one, strike three. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning, nothing across. We've got Montaro batting. He deals. That's at the knees for a called strike. But Gary's been moved to the middle part of this ball game right now. 
They just cannot mount any offense at all. No hits. And I'll tell you what, this pitcher is just shutting them down. And it's 0-2. Jesus Montero now, and he'll lean in a little closer. When you see a pitching performance like we've seen from the man on the mound today, there have to be a lot of things going right, and they have been. This one's bounced up the middle, played by Kochman. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now, great work by the pitcher there. He normally not called about to play first base. He does a nice job completing the task and getting the out. Jaso will be at the plate. He flew out his last time up. First pitch on the way. Strike Swings one. a little late that time. Strike one. Matchup 282 lifetime against the Indians. Called strike and a fastball, and it's 0 2. Swing and an easy ground ball to short. Fielded by Cabrera. Throws the first. He's retired. That's two down. Still, no one has been able to reach base, and we're in the fifth. You know, I love watching them this next time through the lineup. The adjustments he's making, the hitters just can't figure them out. And we've got smoke coming to the plate. We have seen a great pitching performance on the mound and a tremendous use of that strike zone that's been on display here. Well, this lineup is struggling because he's done such a good job of mixing it up location-wise, don't you think, Steve? Absolutely. I mean, it's been difficult for the hitters to figure out what's going to happen next. And they've been off balance all game long. They just can't center the ball. And Santana spotting the pitch. Strike Big one. swing and a miss. Strike one. Uh, when he's behind in the count, he's just not a good fastball hitter, so I expect him to attack him with the fastball. He delivers. Ball. Real good eye by Smoke. Justin taking it, a ball, even count. Two. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's one and two. The one two on its way. Change up tough to lay off, but it's two and two. And you're having a day like this guy is on the mound. It takes a lot of things to be going right for you. Here's a look at his strategy on mixing up his pitch types. Well, he's worked so hard at keeping hitters off balance, and the way you do that, you don't get stuck in the same repertoire. Well, that's right, John. He's got a great assortment of pitches, and he's using them all effectively, throwing any pitch. Early, but through five folks, there ain't anything up there. And you know, second time through the lineup, they're not making any adjustments. You wonder if he can keep this going. The Mariners Ball. still looking for a run. We'll have the six, seven, and eight hitters coming up next. Right and Sizemore swing and a miss. That evens the count up. The 1-1. One, one. A swing line to left center. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. Well, you're going to have to keep a close eye on this guy at first base. Pay a lot of attention to him because you know he more than likely has the green light. He can go at any time. And Brantley's in the box. Steve, let's take a look at what we've got from the pitcher. How's this righty doing it? Well, he's getting a lot of ground ball outs, and it's because they just cannot seem to stay behind the ball. They keep hitting the top of the ball. First pitch on the way. Swings, makes contact. That'll be fielded by Gutierrez. One away now. He throws. And they will tag him out at second. You have to love great defense. I mean, that's an unbelievable effort right there. And a way to pick your team up in a critical situation. And it gets the fans into the game, too. I think fans love D. Conchman at the plate. And here's the first one. Swing and a miss, but he was right on it, 0-1. Well, that two-seam fastball down and away. It's awfully tough to center that ball and make solid contact. That time, he couldn't even hit up the middle. Ryan. Throws on the first side, is retired. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. 
Cleveland two, Seattle nothing. It's going to be Saunders. Now, when you put a game together like we've seen here from this pitcher, it only comes with throwing a lot of quality strikes. Here's how he's getting it done. Yeah, and I've been impressed with how he's used the inner and outer parts of the strike zone. Very effective in getting a lot of strikes on these hitters. You know, it's been difficult for the hitters to center him because he hasn't thrown the ball over the middle portion of the plate, keeping it on the corners. And it's going to be Chu. He's taking charge, puts it away. It's not just the players on the field that help win games. It's also the guys in the dugout. They shift the outfielders around to right field, put them in exactly the right spot, and it paid off. Dems at the plate. Grounded out his last time through. First pitch was a strike. 0-1 oh, now. You know, I know we're not supposed to say anything about no hitters, so I would never <laughs> say anything about that, Gary. But Don't worry. You know, I don't think they have any hits here. And we're, you know, moving through the middle part of the ball game. And here's the pitch. Taps oh. this one foul off to the left. And he fouls off another one. But when a pitcher throws a pitch out there 0-2, oh, you're expecting him to get a ground out or a strikeout. But this guy just reaches out, puts out. it in play, a defensive swing to keep this thing going. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. Well, he had a swing at it. Two strikes, ball up and away. A good pitch to at least put in play or foul off, but couldn't quite catch up to it. It's Ryan at the plate. Hitting 229 lifetime off Cleveland. There's really no explanation on why he has trouble against this team, but he struggles against every pitcher. Slider locked him up. He's behind 0-2. Well, he doesn't like to mess around. You get 0-2 on him, he's coming at you with the fastball. Ball. Tried to get him to go after that slider, but it's 1-2. and two. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. You're out. Strike three, second trip through the order now, and nobody's been able to find a way to get one where they ain't. Third trip through, and the hitters still have not figured out his sequence of pitches. Through six innings now, they remain hitless. It's still a shutout here in Cleveland. And it's Lonnie Chisenhall now to lead it off. Ground out victim last time through. Here's the pitch. That one swung on, hit in the air. Gutierrez. And he gets over and grabs it with the leather. Well, this is why you swing the outfielders around to right field. That's where his strength is. That's where he hits it. That's where he did hit it. It's an out. So with one down, here's Chu. Well, Chu was only able to play about half the season last year, but he wasn't up to his normal standards. First time since 2007, he wasn't able to hit 300. Swing and a drive, deep left center. And he meanders over to put it away. Well, he hit this one well, but it hangs up long enough to give the left fielder just enough time to run underneath and make the catch. So a chance here for Jason Kipnis with two down. Devin has pitched well so far in this one. What's he doing to start these hitters out? Let's take a look at how he's beginning. I agree, now take a look at what's happened when he goes 1-0. Oh and... Swung on and hit. This one will go to Saunders. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. And the Mariners coming up next. And so Dustin Ackley leading it off. Grounded out his last time through. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, I don't know about you, Gary, but uh, when I look up the board under that H column, the hits column, I see a big goose egg there. So clearly, we're getting into exciting territory right now. Oh! That one goes foul. He deals. And that's another foul ball. Foul! You're 
strikes him out, and he's still flawless with one out in the seventh inning. Now, one more hitter down, and these hitters are going to have to start to make some adjustments right now. They've got to be more aggressive early in the count. Gutierrez has the plate. 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first pitch. There's a ground ball. Kipnis the grab. So Gutierrez is set down. Well, he has great stuff. There's no question about that. And every time he takes them out, he's got a shot at something like this special happening. This may be the day that it comes to fruition. Seeger's in the batter's box. Grounded out his last time up. Fastball in there for a called strike. Well, that's a pitch a lot of guys can do some damage on. But unfortunately, the pitcher gets the strike. The hitter couldn't swing the bat. Ball. That misses downstairs for a ball. One and one. Good spot there, just down a little bit out of the zone. Tried to get him to chase. He wouldn't go for it. Here's the 1-1. Swings for a strike on the fastball. It'll be a 1-2 count. Fouled off. One two pitch coming. Swing and a chopper to the second baseman. There's Chisenhall. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Well, you're at a point right now that nobody's going to talk to him in the dugout. He got it through seven. As Drupal Cabrera leading it off. These at bats, how's he starting them? Let's take a look. Well, Gary, you know, you take a look at it. What does it mean when he falls behind in the count? Well, here's what it means. It means the hitters get confident. They can sit on a pitch to drive it out of the ballpark, and they pick up some hits. 0-1 the count as we get going here in the bottom of the seventh. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. One away. And it's Carlos Santana now with one away. Flew out last time. And the first pitch. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. Hit on the ground. Ackley will scoop it up. Now it's two away. And it's Travis Hafner now. One of the effective ways to attack a lineup, mix up your location. Here's an interesting breakdown on what this pitcher's been doing. Well, how can you complain about what this guy has done today? I mean, most of the game, he's been locked in. You know, in respect to how he's been mixing up his location, he's doing it enough to keep the hitters off balance and keep them guessing, wondering what's coming next. First pitch to him. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. But Gary, now that he's ahead in the count, it's probably a good time to go to the changeup. Here's the pitch. Swing and ooh, look out. Line drive that shatters the bat. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. Cleveland 2, Seattle nothing. It's Jesus Montero to lead it off. He bounced out his last time. The pitch. And there's a swing and a miss behind 0 and 1. No runs, no hits. Deep, deep into this ball game, Gary. And obviously, he is pitching a gem of a game. And it's 0 and 2. Jesus Montero now, and he'll lean in a little closer. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. But Gary, he's a very aggressive hitter on a one-two count. He's going to swing at that borderline pitch, so I'm going to try to expand the strike zone right here. The one-two on its way. Ground ball. There's Chisenhall. One away. 
Now, Gary, I'm starting to like his chances here right now. He's got great rhythm out there. Seems like he gets it out, gets right back out there, and wants to start attacking this lineup. He looks good. Jaso will be at the plate. 0 for 2 thus far. That one's inside and low, 1-0. That's a tough pitch for a hitter. That breaking ball that he's burying toward the back foot. Tough to lay off. Hit up the middle. And Cabrera picks it up. Oh. On to first. That's out number two. I'm uh, curious to tell you, that's some solid pitching out there right now. He's got everything working for him. He looks like he's in complete and total control right now. They are off balance the entire game. And we've got smoke coming to the plate. Struck out swinging his last time up. Strike started off the at bat 0 and 1. He just plain old fooled him right there. He must have been looking for something else. Hit his spot perfectly with that change. Here's a big swing and a miss. 0 and 2. Well, he's a very defensive hitter when the count gets to 0 2. So I'm going to try to get him to chase something out of the zone. You're Got out. him, and the side is retired. He's three outs away from a perfect game. Can you imagine what's going through his mind right now walking back to that dugout? In their quest for a hit, that's going to make it eight no-hit innings so far. The Mariners still looking for a run. And it's great. That one swung on and put in play. It'll be Gutierrez. And he puts that one away, one down. Uh, he's got everything working for him right now. Every pitch, he's throwing for a strike. And that's nine in a row that he's set down. And Brantley's in the box. One for two in the ballgame. The deep right center. Gutierrez roams over, puts it away. He's retired 10 in a row. The hitters are completely overmatched right now. He's got it all going on. And here's Casey Kochman. Grounded out last time. Kochman will foul that one away. Ball. And Casey Kochman watching that one go by for a ball to even it. And a look now at the pitch type distribution. One of the hallmarks of B. That swung on and grounded up the middle. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Only five pitches to get out of. It's going to be Saunders. He'll start us out here in the last inning of regulation. And he starts him out. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Now Gary in the ninth inning has not given up a hit in this one, so we may be looking at some history for him personally and for his club. And he looks at a fastball in there, one and one. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. One one pitch, fastball, high, two and one. Well, looking at this guy's pitch count, he's up over 80 pitches thus far. You wonder how long they're going to let him go. That one hit pretty well, but uh, it goes foul off to the right. The 2 2 pitch. Gets him on strikes. There's one here in the ninth inning. Hey, there's one thing to get a perfect game, it's another one to just keep mounting the strikeouts. No break on that whatsoever. And 81 miles per hour getting into a pretty good hitting speed right there. It's batting practice. Thames at the plate. 0 for 2 thus far. On the ground to second. Kipnis the grab. That retires Thames. He is now just one out away from perfection. Now, Gary, you can feel the energy in the crowd right now. Everybody knows what could possibly happen here. One out away. We're witnessing history. Oh. It's Ryan at the plate. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Ball one uh, to begin this at bat. 1-0. Trying to get the ground ball out, you throw that two-seam fastball away from the hitter, trying to get him to reach and roll over it. He laid off of it here. Just off the inside part of the plate, two and one. Two-one on the way. And a grounder is at the last out. Kipnis the grab. He's out, and there it is. He did it a perfect game. One of the hardest feats to accomplish in baseball or in sports in general. An unbelievable effort. Perfect stuff on a perfect day. But it went a great one here today, Gary, and it's all because of the pitching. Outstanding pitching really leading them to victory. And it's about time to award our player of the game, don't you think?
Well, you know, they don't call it a perfect game for nothing. This is something that this young man will remember for the rest of his life. And everyone who's here has to have a feeling that they just witnessed some sort of history. And I know never playing in one in my career, a perfect game, I'm thankful I got to see this one. And we witnessed a pitcher who has put himself in the record book, an incredible, perfect game. I mean, you see history made here with this kind of performance from this guy, an outstanding effort, and they get the win as a team as well to move forward. I guess it's that time again. We wrap up this 2K Sports broadcast of MLB. For John, Steve, our entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Adieu, adieu.